Nora Hare, Doolin Darlin's boxing match round one. Got a little bloody, but it was a good fight. Check it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make our cuts. And we're going to have one on the lip and then one up here on our cheek. So it's going to look like we have a busted lip and then like look we've been hitting the eye and we our cheek is kind of split open. So I'm actually going to use red fingernail polish for this. I know it sounds a little unconventional. You can use fake blood if you want or you can use like an aqua color or a paint, anything like that. But I really like using um, red nail polish for this. And I'm using um, Sinful Colors nail polish and the color is in ruby red. Looks very much like blood. So I'm just going to take a small diff eyeliner brush and for our busted lip we're just going to make our cut. Kind of like that. Let that dry. So we're going to go ahead and come over to our cheek and do the same thing. All right. So for our cheek we're just going to start kind of up near the eye and just make kind of a thin thin line it doesn't have to be straight kind of like that okay and I know it looks weird right now but it'll all make sense in just a minute now we're gonna do kind of like our bruising so around these cuts we're gonna add some matte black shadow and I'm using carbon by Mac I'm just gonna take a small flat brush that's really thin and has kind of a thin point and I'm going to get some of that shadow on the tip of the brush. I'm going to kind of draw really heavily right around the cut. So you want kind of your darkest amount right next to the cut. I know that's kind of hard to see, but... Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is take a fluffy blending brush and just get a tiny bit of that same matte black and then I'm going to tap some of it off on the back of my hand just because we want it to be kind of diffused and kind of start blending a little bit of that black out outwards. You want it to kind of look like it's starting to naturally bruise. And you want to kind of take this up and kind of under the eye, just spreading a little bit of that bruising around. Because we want it to look like we've been hit pretty hard and this whole area is affected. So just keep blending that out and it's okay if it's patchy because if you look at a bruise it's not necessarily just like perfectly um, colored it's all you know blotchy some of the places are starting to yellow and that kind of thing so if it's patchy it's okay it'll just make it look more realistic okay so we kind of have our cut kind of defined our bruising is starting to spread a little bit now we want to kind of create that yellowing effect that you get when you have a bruise and that usually takes place kind of on the outskirts of the wound so I'm actually going to take some primary yellow pigment from MAC you can use any kind of dull matte yellow eyeshadow or anything you have for that just get a little bit on that same blending brush no need to get another one dirty and kind of start coming on the outsides It just starts to give it that yellowing effect that most people get when they bruise. Also, take some of that pigment and go under your eye with it. Not quite that much. Okay, I kind of have my bruising where I want it. So, since we've kind of gone over and over that same line that we drew with our red nail polish, I'm just going to take that same brush 
with that same nail polish and go over just the very center of the cut so that part is the most vibrant. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some attention on our busted lip down here. So I'm just going to take a small pointed pencil brush and I'm going to load up some of this Carbon by MAC and I'm going to kind of create a rounded bulbous shape, almost look like we have a fat lip with a cut over it. Art right here. And I'm just going to kind of freehand, I know it's going to look crazy right now, a kind of rounded bulbous shape. So I'm going to go back with some of that same, let's see, with some of that same yellow pigment from MAC that primary yellow and I'm just gonna kinda put it where we've created that bulbous shade it's almost gonna create almost like a highlight okay and now where I put that line I'm just gonna kinda start to blur that out You just want it to blend this one out as naturally as possible so that it just really looks kind of like a big bump. Okay, so now we're going to do some bruising around the actual cut of our lip. And I'm just going to take this same little shader brush that's kind of got a fine point, put it in some carbon, and kind of outline these sides. So for a little added something, I just went and picked up some little butterfly closures. So I'm going to take that and just kind of place it right in the center of that cut right there. So I don't know, it just kind of adds a little something fun to look like it's actually holding the cut together because, you know, it's just super split. You think this is bad? should see the other girl. Can you handle that?